Wednesday, May the 1st, 2019, May Day, and I'm down in uh, Sussex, about to undertake this 13 mile walk to Lewis, uh, along the Ouse Valley and over the hill, uh, the downs. It's a grey day, good temperature though, about 15, 16 degrees, ideal for walking. This is Free Walk 272, SWC Walk 272. It's about 12.30, so uh, let's get cracking, because this is my longest walk of the, of the year thus far. I want to see if I can get it done in around six, six and a half hours. Got the old signal box there, and evidence here that the line used to continue on. The station actually sits on top of the River Uck, which is uh, just over there, I believe. Passing Bridge Cottage Heritage Centre into Bell Walk Shopping Precinct. Point three of the text here makes uh, reference to following the grass path next to the road there but clearly it's far better to do a quick right and then a quick left continue along that grass path in the embankment there. Self-explanatory, but uh, what I wanted to focus on was the verges. Good to see uh, Sussex is one of those counties that doesn't mow the verges to oblivion. Finally, after a very inauspicious start, almost as bad as last week's A229 next to the North Downs Way, finally come across the double stile next to a metal field gate. So hopefully now we can get away from about a kilometre of road walking. And there we go, just as I've crossed the stile, Fox brazenly walking across the field. Sent to me now. Wonderful. Now that's what these walks are about. Obviously, uh, we're now in the wheel. I just wanted to point out all the pigeon droppings on this style, and there's no uh, wire covering to prevent you slipping either. Quite dangerous. Coming up to a, a wooded section of walking, hopefully with um, some bluebells in full bloom this week. Now this camera definitely needs uh, replacing. I've noticed watching the videos back that they're quite dark now, unfortunately, and a bit jerky when I'm focusing. So this thing is, uh, as I keep saying, a decade old, needs replacing. There are some scattered bluebells in here, almost fully bloomed. But more worryingly on my right looks like the remnants of a pond, absolutely bone dry. And a footbridge going across what would have been its feeder stream. Unbelievable. Barn owl box up there, which are often used, I've noted up our way, by uh, kestrels and so forth. Sparrowhawks. That embankment over there on my left was built to uh, take the never completed Ouse Valley Railway. Shame that. Now out, out into some lovely Sussex countryside and amazingly the sun's breaking through. I wasn't expecting that because at 1pm as it now is it's meant to be grey. And that was only uh, six hours back. Anyway, not complaining. 
point seven of the text just before the uh, brick abutment of the non-built railway. Got a very dangerous style here, which I'm going to report via Pathwatch. There is the brick abutment. Various comments have been made on the web start, website from whence this uh, walk has come about the vegetation being overgrown and uh, I would agree even though it's only May today vegetation I can see in a couple of months time is going to be a nightmare so this walk is best done before probably uh, June I'd say from what I've seen today at this point you've got a finger post on the floor as well no sign of a style as referred to in the text but I'm assuming it's on through here where that uh, barn owl box is I'll have to report this point eight of the text there's no longer a style do a left here plenty of barn owl boxes around I notice point nine no longer a style there either the onward journey across the field is obvious so eh? thankfully really wild this walk now I'm getting into it plenty of wildlife fauna flora it's because it's so rural down here Wonderful. You can hear that uh, black cap. Northern Nightingale. Crossing over a rather bouncy footbridge on top of the river Uck. which thankfully at this point is uh, flowing well but then again you do find that with most main rivers it's a little tributaries that are bone dry sucked dry by the uh, agricultural community in their reservoirs I would have thought an obvious railway track bed this one being the uh, former Uckfield to Lewis railway which uh, I commented on back at Uckfield station clear example there that the line did continue almost immediately take a left over the stile up there in the hedge note the number of stiles on this walk thus far plenty of them not a walk for the uh, unabled now entering woodland and there's a buzzard mewing in here somewhere there you go This also has potential to be a very pleasant bluebell wood. Look at that. Wonderful aroma. I still argue they're still not fully in bloom though. May Day today, so just a couple more weeks of this and they'll be gone for another year. Still no cuckoo either, and if I'm going to hear one, it's going to be down here, I can assure you. Ideal ter terrain for them. Point 12 of the text now following this lane for 400 metres. I do like it when walk authors use point numbers, letters, numbers, whatever. Enables people all round to identify things. College Farm, which you can see by the sale agreed sign, has now been sold. So coming off the lane now, turning right on this grassy path, and it looks like there's a planning notice over there, let's go and investigate. It was dated um, July last year and concerns change of use really. To become a byway from what I can see. 
which it looks like it already is. Anyway, now following a section through a little wooded belt. Looks to me like this could be very muddy in the winter months by these uh, plants, rushes. I can also feel underneath, underfoot, that horses have been down here as well, amazingly. Ransoms. And on top of that, a belt of bluebells. Wonderful. Do love these uh, Wildon wonders. So peaceful here at the minute. All I can hear is the humming of hoverflies, which are landing on my fingers as I'm filming. Fantastic. In the distance there on my right, you've got the South Downs, which is where we'll be later. Certainly the beginning of them anyway. It's almost like an old riverbed that we're walking along here. And there certainly could be uh, problems walking along it, as I say, in the winter months. This is definitely a walk for this time of year though, when the vegetation is not too high, bluebells are out and uh, no problems with water underfoot. Very lucky today with this. What a wonderful song. Don't know if that's a song thrush or a missile. Wonderful. What I was actually filming was the uh, depth gauge there, which just goes to confirm what I said about the uh, path being almost a river back behind me. There must be flooding down here at times. In fact, that doesn't sound like a thrush at all. It's not. There's a small bird hopping around in the back of the tree there, a uh, bush there. So I'm going to need help identifying that. Because it's something I haven't heard before. Wouldn't be a nightingale, surely. Got a very powerful voice. Fantastic. So clear and strong. Wonderful. The old chiff chaff in the background. Well, I've got to press on. Point 0.15 of the text. Crossing over the uck again. What's left of it, as you can see from the banks, not particularly high. An old pillbox over there in the distance. And some wonderful uh, catkins. Some white coloured catkins here. Fantastic. Not sure what that tree is. Oh, it looks like birch. Some kind of birch. Never noticed that before on a birch. I'm only saying that looking at the trunk. Passing under the uh, disused railway line again.
crossing over the yuck. What a pleasant afternoon it's turned out to be. Surprisingly as well. Once again, don't believe the Met Office. Well, although you can't see it, apparently uh, Dingley Dell Rail Terminal is the other side of that hedge there. That's um, the terminal of the existing lavender line. So out of that barn owl nesting box flew a crow. So it just goes to show. Could have been a rook, but uh, one or the other. So it just goes to show the poor old barn owls are not getting a look in. Well, that's good to know. All for rewilding, or naturalisation as they're calling it. Point 17 of the text refers to a disused metal kissing gate. Still in use to me. No problem with it. There you've got an example of how low the water table is at the moment. May the 1st. Passing through the barn farm. Some wonderful views on my right there. Chiff chaff behind me. Still no cuckoo though, worryingly. And not many swallows either down here. That is actually illegal. Just as we're passing through this tall wooden gate. Passing Icefield Village Hall. Looks like the fence has been removed from this field. Uh, sheep in it now as you can see. That was referring to point 20 of the text as I just reached the kissing gate referred to as well. Wonderful field of dandelions now turn into seed. Free range pet sheep, eh? There's one of them. Okay, just before that bridge, take this left hand style to join the Ouse Valley Way. Three bullocks, surprisingly, in the corner of the field crept up on me unbeknownst. Weather's certainly gone overcast now as forecast. Just coming up to the anchor in. Remnants of the old railway line again. What a waste, eh? Approaching the Anchor Inn, which also seems to have a nice little sideline in boat hire. Not sure where I'll be having my lunch. It's getting on now, approaching the three. No churches around. That kind of sums up the attitude of the owners to me. Interesting looking place. It's about four and a half mile into the walk. Sluice gates next to the anchor in. Look like pink footed goose over there. With signets, uh, sorry not signets, with uh, young geese.
passing another pillbox this one being in someone's garden I wonder if that robin's made use of it there could be nesting in there mill house could be a bit of a root deviation here I'm not sure this fence on my right looks very new it's actually on my left as I'm filming it but uh, as I walk it's on my right looks like some kind of sculpture being erected in the field on the other side of the river So here we are, still overlooking the use. 0.25 of the text just before I have to make a decision about uh, onward journey, whether to continue on the use valley path or go up into the downs, which I am more inclined to do. Okay, due to the uh, lack of options, I'm going to have my lunch here today next to the river is utilizing these steps because I am famished well lunch has been had but uh, had I waited about 10 more minutes there's a series of benches here which uh, I could have used not to worry point 0.25 judgment time there's a the squeeze style but since the notes were written there's now uh, another gate to the left over there that doesn't involve steps or the squeeze style river ooze and the uh, pools of Barkham more behind me as well now I'm still not sure which way to go it's four o'clock which is quite late and I, can, I reckon I've got a good three hours if I do the main walk no rush mind you certainly plenty of sluices around this way got the downs over there on my right that's where we're headed. Okay, so we leave this uh, reservoir on my left here. Behind this hedge is a pumping station. And aim towards that telegraph pole. That climbing plant over there, is it Listeria? Wonderful aroma it's giving off at Clay Hill House with its pond. Onward journeys up ahead on this grassy path. Passing the trig point referred to in the text, height of which is I'm not sure. There's the views off from the trig point towards the South Downs very overcast now not getting good images at all really hey oh I'll pass four just passing this dew pond mentioned in the text last of the salandines now as I've just passed another fox on this uh, potentially muddy footpath referred to in the text okay just past Braunswell house little Norlington and uh, as I'm doing the main route not avoiding Ringma. I'm going right here towards the downs. Oh, 
road here. What an eyesore. I'm right on the horizon of the downs. Wherever will they put them next? Country's ruined. Just passing May's farm. And as you can see, whether it's official or not, I don't know. But she sells raw milk, delivered as well. Point 35 of the text, well done to the farmer for reinstating the footpath here. Fantastic, doesn't take much. Two large tractor wheels is enough for me to follow. Looks like a new footbridge here across this dike. I'm not sure what goes into those pet foods, but it enough stink. The path just goes by the side of this factory on the outskirts of Ringwa. Passing Ringmer's clock tower, which isn't that old apparently. Well, that's a good start. Looks like the hay's just been cut. Getting ever closer to that turbine up this chalky path. All the dog walkers are out now. 20 past five. Views back over Ringma from a point near the wind turbine. As I say, very uh, breezy up here now. But there you have the old and the new. Probably the, the pillar for a beacon in years gone by. And today, one of these I saw wind farms. Something else we've got to uh, thank Brussels for lip service. Information panel here about the Glyndebourne turbine. You can Google that if you're that interested. And if you're even more of a train spotter, is the turbine stats for what they're worth not very efficient that's all I know point 41 of the text following weak lane this uh, byway into Lewis, which is two miles hence. Views of the downs over on the right. As I say, not brilliant today because of the mist. You can just make out Glyndebourne Opera Theatre there. This would be a wonderful view on a nice summer's day or even a nice sunny day. But uh, unfortunately, you can't have everything. At least it's not raining. Although it is trying. The wind's picking up. Quite chill now. Point 42 of the text seems to have gone walkies, but anyway, uh, 43 seems to be in its place. This is classic downland walking now, back in my old stomping ground. Long time since I've been down here actually. <laughs> a 
having got a little way laid a bit a few minutes ago now back on track this is a uh, Bible bottom on my left wonderful valley views even in the mist skylarks everywhere I'm on the grassy path mentioned in the text and of course cattle everywhere but uh, generally even with calves they're keeping themselves to themselves coming out at the uh, Lewis Golf Club car park which I've passed on previous Lewis walks obviously cattle are queuing up for drinks views down over Lewis which I don't recall in the past I must have cleared this hedge pretty decent views actually sun's out now as well then looking along the uh, busy dual carriageway out across the downs again and the marshes wonderful nice little seat there for the, those on the ascent Now approaching Cliff with its uh, little church ahead of us. Passing Harvey's Brewery once again. Founded in 1790. Filmed this before. So here we are, finally uh, finished. 5 hours 45 minutes, 13 mile and 3 quarters I've recorded, but I did make a couple of errors. Anyway, further evidence here of the closure of the old railway line. Decent walk that was, after the first uh, 3 quarters of a mile was got out of the way, the road walking. It then developed into a, uh, a very good walk. But it does have to be done at certain times of the year because the vegetation and flooding of rivers, mud, etc., uh, precludes doing it at any point in the winter, that's for sure. Autumn, absolute nightmare. I would suggest any time around Easter now would be a good time to do it. So, another one done. Free walk, I think it was 272 completed and the weather held out it was actually 5 hours 22 minutes of walking 